fellow countrymen and women. A few weeks ago, the Swedish and the Finnish embassies here in Zambia flew uh, the LGBTQ flag. In simple terms, it's the flag that represents the rights of the homosexual community. I know that it has brought about a major debate in the nation and we felt that we need to provide a sentence or two on how to calm the nation down in the midst of this great flurry of concern. It is important for all of us to understand that Zambia already has a position on lesbians and gays and homosexuals as we call them and that is it's against the laws of our country to practice this type of behavior. Our constitution and the laws of the land prohibit the exercise of this behavior. It is therefore clear that Zambia not only being a Christian nation but by our culture there is a position that has already been established and this position has been sustained ever since we became a republic. President Kenneth Kaunda, President Frederick Chiluwa, President Levi Patrick Manawasa, President um, Rupia Banda, President Michael Sata, President Edgar Lungu, now President Haka Inde Hichlema. All of them look to the laws already established to govern this country. So I wish to assure the Zambian people on the basis of our laws that Zambia does not support gay rights as they are known. That's our law. That's what it stipulates. And all of us, including the former presidents and the current president, have sworn their commitment to upholding this law. I would like to make a statement concerning our president, President Haka Inde Hichilema, and take the Zambian people to one of his very first press conferences in which he truly introduced himself on major issues as he sees them. He did not shy away to talk about homosexuality in relationship to its existence in our country or its practice in our nation. To quote his own words, he started off by saying, I'm an elder in the church. I do not believe in the rights of homosexuals in this country as per the law of our land. He went on to emphasize that there is a law in this country and that is the law that we're going to uphold and that's the position that we are going to uphold. And that is the position that President Haka Inde Hichilema has made consistently on this matter. And it is important for us as a people to learn to understand statements that are made by those that are leading us and start to accept the fact that that's the position they hold on that matter. However, there are concerns especially arising from the flags that flew over those two embassies. There are two things about that matter. Number one, it is important that we recognize the fact that these flags have not flown for the first time this year. These flags flew under the patriotic front over the same embassies. But because of the sensitivity of the community about homosexuality, it has become a major issue of debate. So it is important for us to know that this is not the first time they're flying those flags. When I was first asked by the press to make a comment as a former ambassador to Canada, I did tell them that the Foreign Affairs Ministry had the constitutional mandate to inform the nation as to the provisions of the Vienna uh, uh, 
code that they used as a, a basis to fly those two flags. And I'm so glad that Foreign Affairs has since released a statement in which they have said they have made a query to find out why those two countries flew the LGBTQ fl flag over their embassies. But I do understand and appreciate the reason why this debate is going on, and I want to face it um, as it has come, because it is important for the country to move forward. I have worked with President Haka in the in 2016, especially as we campaigned, spent long times and moments together discussing the direction of the country and the Zambia we all wished to see. I don't know everything about the president, but I do know that he holds some very strong positions on many issues, including the issue of the homosexuals. The people that are accusing him that he is soft uh, you know, towards, I mean, soft in regards to this subject, are accusing him of being a pro West president. They're even calling him a Western puppet. They're even saying that he is going to bring all those things that we have rejected in the past number of years because his friends are in the West, the United States and Western Europe. And these countries are known to push agendas of what they call minority human rights, which directly talks about homosexuals and their rights. It is this fear that a lot of people are trying to push across this country. I want to speak here because I think it's important for us to be fair. By having the United States or Western countries being our allies in development does not mean that we are selling our birthright. We do have our own laws and we do have our own cultures. Having friends and partners does not mean that you give up your birthright and who you are and what you stand for to those that become your friends. And I think that the Zambian people, we need to be fair. All of us are friends. But we agree with certain things with friends and disagree with others. President Haka and H. Lema has a right to have friends from anywhere. It's when those friends force you or influence you to do something that's detrimental to your own people. At that time, there should be departure on that particular point. Whether we are pro-East or pro-West, there are many things we don't agree with with the East. There are many things we don't agree with with the West. Even your friend, even your husband, even your wife, there are things you don't agree with, but you still love your wife. But we have made it very clear on this issue, we don't agree, but you're still my wife. I think international diplomacy requires that level of maturity. As the war pursues in, in Ukraine, we have bilateral relations with Russia, which is, in our view, the aggressor, but we also have a bilateral relationship with Ukraine. Why? Because there are things we agree with in Ukraine and we deal with in Ukraine and things we agree with in Russia and things we don't agree with in Russia. But we have to ensure that maturity in the manner we embrace friends is exercised. I personally do not believe that working alongside Western countries or Eastern countries is a way of selling our birthrights. We have our laws. We have our position. President Haka and Chilema knows who voted for him that is the Zambian people. And his first commitment is to the Zambian people. He has made it extremely clear as to where he stands on this subject. In a democracy, we can all ask questions. But I think it becomes unfair 
when people start to say, this is who he is, and this is what he's going to bring. To the church, I stand solidly behind the position of the church on this subject. The Declaration of Zambia as a Christian Nation sets us apart and allows us to operate on a certain set of values that make us truly a Christian nation. And it remains our responsibility to ensure that not only do we continue to preach on the values that matter to us and remind the citizens of this country that there are certain things we don't believe in, and one of those are the rights as they are being uh, perpetuated of homosexuals in our country. We are here in the defense of family. We are here in the defense of the marriage institution. We are here in defense of procreation and not homosexuality. It's a position that we have taken as a nation. It is for this reason over the years as I have cried Zambia shall be saved, I've asked the church to encourage your members to participate in the political process at council level, parliamentary level, and even presidential level. It is by as many members of parliament that you have in the house that when, and God forbid, a piece of legislation that would wish to open up to homosexuality in this country would meet huge resistance depending on the moral values that your representatives in parliament carry. Removing ourselves from the processes of governance and placing blame on a few does not help us. Anyone in this country who holds these views very strongly, I encourage you to ensure that you participate in the political process, if not directly, make sure that every election cycle. I therefore would like to conclude by saying that my interaction with President Haka in the Hichilema, my discussion with him on this subject, gives me great confidence that he stands solidly by the side of the law, and as he said himself, as an elder in the church, he remains committed to ensuring that this vice does not have room in our country. I thank you, and may God bless our great republic.